Hi, I'm Alex Udell. I'm a current senior at Cary Academy in Cary, North Carolina. Um, I've lived in Cary all of my life. Um, I've only, I've been in two different houses though, once we moved like 0.9 miles down the street. Um, I have one older sister who recently graduated from college and is now living in China. I have two dogs and I've always played a sport growing up. Um, I did swimming for a while and then some gymnastics and tennis. Uh, for some of my leadership um, roles, I'm currently the student council vice president. I'm also the, so editor in chief of the yearbook, and I'm captain of the varsity tennis and swimming teams. Um, and those are just a few roles that sum up what I do at school. Uh, and for why I'm interested in leadership, I've done week long summer camps um, during like for leadership specifically, and I also learn about not only leadership, but like the different qualities about leadership. And I find it really interesting. And what I'm hoping to learn through this course is not only about leadership, you know, as a refresher, but also through like globally. Um, for an object that means something to me, this is this is Elmo. And um, like I said, I have two dogs. One's name is Kalua and one is Elmo. And I didn't think I should show a bottle of Kalua, So instead, I have a stuffed animal to represent my dog. Um, and I've always had a dog, which is why this is important to me. Um, I've always had a dog growing up, and I couldn't imagine, like, living without a dog. Um, for a personal best leadership story. So, this year in the tennis season, while I was a co-captain, um, my two other co-captains, one of them got, like, mono during the middle of the season, and the other had a really ill, uh, grandparent. So, it was... I kind of had to step up to the plate and just be like the full captain um, because my other, my co-parts were just, weren't always at practice or had to be other places. And so um, I kind of took it on my responsibility and we had a really young team this year. So we, so I take pride in teaching some of the younger ones how to, how I try to mentor them and show them uh, the respectful way to enter the court or to talk to your opponent, um, or you don't necessarily have to, but show sportsmanship and to be respectful and be kind. Um, and when we got to the, we actually did a very good job in our season and got to the state finals and, um, we lost by one match to a team who was really disrespectful and really rude to us and was cheating a lot. Um, and that was really hard, but I was really proud of my team because we handled it really well. We kept our heads up. We were, we were still respectful to them. And, um, so we kept our heads on and came high and kept, came closer because of it. So I just thought that that was a really nice story to share, and um, I was really happy with the turnout. Thank you.